Mumbai and today I have a very special guest. We've got the British Deputy High Commissioner for Western India and also His Majesty's Trade Commissioner for South Asia, Harjinder Kang. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to having our chat. Tell us a little bit about your India connection. Yes, um, I have a deep and long connection with India. I was actually born here um, in the Punjab, uh, oh. near Jalandhar. Uh, my parents, like a lot of their generation, left India. I was about three years old when they left to make a, an economic success for themselves. And I traveled the world with them, including visits to India many a time. And so I got to know the, the Indian place through business as well. So very much, uh, you know, Punjabi yeah. by background, food, culture, music. No, wonderful and welcome. As, Thank you. As, as we were discussing, Mumbai is a beautiful city, as, as you can see. It's and, unbelievably uh, beautiful. Yeah, yeah, so I don't think every day for you begins like this, walking along well, the water. Well, there have so been early yeah. days, that's for sure. <laughs> early days, but yeah. what's an average, what's a sort of regular day in the life of a diplomat like? My God, what a question. Um, there is no such thing as an average day, if I'm honest. I mean, so there's that consular services side of things, yeah. which we have an amazing team. Then there's the sort of relationship building between yeah. the UK and India, whether that's at the political level, whether it's at the social level, whether it's at the business level. Yeah. And my other role, so that's the diplomatic end, yeah. is the, um, the trade commissioner role, and that's for South Asia. It's about encouraging UK companies to trade with India yeah. and Indian companies to invest in the UK. Yeah, Bye -bye. very exciting. So that brings me to my next question, which is actually about an industry where there is a lot of great connection, mm. the film industry. So what's your favorite Indian film? <laughs> well, do you okay, watch I would make film? lots of enemies if I say, but I have one. I do have one. Uh, it's Bing Zara. Okay. I watch nice. it time and time again. I've actually got it on DVD and my wife's saying, you know, the life has moved on to sort of Netflix and the likes. But I said, no, 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 that one I, I, I love. Oh, nice. And, Excellent. Uh, and do your kids, you have three daughters. Yes, yes. And do they, do they watch Indian films at all? They do. Their favourite film, and they also watch it on the way, is Kabi Kushi Kabi Kam. Yeah, So nice. there you go, you know. So on that note, uh, tell us a little bit about food. So, um, do you are you a foodie yeah. and do you like Indian food uh, and do you uh, cook? Badly. Don't ask my <laughs> wife. She'll say he never cooks. But I occasionally I've been known to cook. But I tell you the thing that always brings back memories for me is my uh, nanny's double decker brodie. Oh, nice. And she yeah, sounds unbelievable. Yum. That brought back memories of sitting with my daddy <laughs> and her like making parathas and putting this amazing homemade white there butter. There you go. You That's know, the makhan. That's it. So That's yummy. It. Uh, thank you, Tara. That was a really uh, fascinating conversation we've just had. Now it's my turn, you know, as a newbie to Mumbai. Um, so you're the expert of the city. Tell me, <laughs> What is it that I need to see in Mumbai in my first few weeks? Well, honestly, Mumbai is fascinating and it's extremely diverse. Mm. So where we're now, where we are here, here in South Bombay, um, if you look around the architecture, quite large streets and lots of greenery, it's beautiful. Then if you go further north, you see a whole different side of Mumbai, mm -hmm. Bandra, Juhu. Right. Yeah, and you must go to like a local market, like Crawford Market wow. and, you know, experience that kind of thing. India is a real mix in terms of the kitchen. What's your favourite meal in this part? What do you recommend I should try? I've, I've just started to experiment with dosas and stuff. What else do you think I should be going for? Well, I think in Bombay, the street food, Pani Puri is yum. Yep. Vada Pao yep. is, you know, the pao with the I vada know. inside. I've That's yummy. Mm. Safe Puri I love. Wow. Uh, then ragda patties, <laughs> then all kinds of all kinds of yummy. I have to watch this. Yeah. You know, you have to you have to be very careful at the moment. There's a lot of sport here. Yeah. Um, well, you know? it's talking of sport, IPL. I've got to ask you, who is your team? Right now, I'm supporting uh, Chennai because I'm very <laughs> partial to <laughs> the to Dhoni. Yeah, so of course, being from Mumbai, Mumbai Indians as mm. well. That's a favorite. But you know, apart from cricket, which of course is a religion in India. A lot of other sports are also really coming up, like kabaddi and even football. No, uh, fascinating to say football is now starting to take off here. And obviously, yeah. it's, uh, the UK is the sport of yeah. uh, uh, the capital of the football game, even though the Italians and the French and the Germans might disagree. 
but it, it's true. There we go. <laughs> Dada, that's been amazing. Is there any final advice you would give to me and my wife as someone who's going to be here for a few years? I would say, um, you know, it seems that you guys are on the right track with mm. having an open mind and deciding to love Bombay because I think if you decide to love it, you'll love it and you'll get a lot from the city. I mean, we felt that and the city has been incredibly warm and welcoming to us. For the first month we already feel now we're part of here. Yes. So, yeah. lovely to have met you. Same Thank you for all really the advice. And, uh, Thank you as well. Till next looking time. looking forward to yeah, meeting in India and in England. And <laughs> It's all one, one world. <laughs> <laughs>